Hi, everyone. Thank you for tuning in and watching this short series of um, student interviews with current students at the MBC UAI programs. My name is Haley Pottle. I'm the manager for student recruitment with the Institute of International Education with the MBC UAI um, graduate scholarship programs. And it's a pleasure to be able to meet with the current students and just ask them some questions about the application process, their student life experience at the university, and just any suggestions, tips, or reflections that they've had on their experience. So I will let our current student introduce themselves with their name, country, and what program they're in. Go ahead. Hi, thank you. Uh, so let's start by introducing myself. Uh, my name is Faris Malik. Uh, I'm originally from Jordan. Um, <clears throat> I'm currently, I'm studying machine learning, master's program of machine learning at Mohammed bin Zayed University. And I'm also the vice president of the graduate student council in, in the university. Awesome, thank you so much. Um, so we'll go ahead and just um, dig on in and get started. Um, so we would love to hear from you about how did you first learn about um, MBC UAI and what made you interested in applying? Well, um, I was working here in the UAE when I first, I was working in the Minister of Education when I first uh, saw an advertisement about this university being the first university in the world that will teach uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning and computer vision in the beginning. So I was, because I came from mechanical engineering background, so I was really interested in applying to this university and just jumping into the field of AI because we can see AI is booming nowadays and you know we have to keep up with everything new. Awesome, thank you, that's great. Um, we'd love to hear a bit about the aspects of MBZ UAI that are the most impressive or interesting to you. That could be the faculty, the location, course offerings, what the scholarship entails, and you can share um, a few of those if you'd like. Yeah, sure. So uh, to, to start with, at the beginning, when I first heard about the university, it's a new field, it's, a, it's still a young field that is growing every day. So I was a bit, a bit scared uh, to apply to this university, but then I've decided I, I should I should take this decision. But once I reached to the campus, actually it was something really different. Uh, starting with, um, with the faculty that we have at Mohammed bin Zayed University, they are the best in the field from two different countries in the world. So we have uh, faculty from Oxford University, we have from uh, 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 Carlingi Milan University and other universities, uh, which are well known. Um, and also another, another interesting thing was the courses that we have here. Uh, we have a lot of interesting courses. It's either core or elective courses. So now we have courses in, uh, regarding digital twins, big data, uh, security and privacy. Uh, we have uh, some, some courses related to smart cities, healthcare, these fields which are really interesting and you can see the true applications of AI. Uh, another, another interesting thing is uh, the location of, of, let's say, of the, of the university, which is located in Mazdar city in Abu Dhabi. First, for people who, who are interested in, um, uh, let's say, solar energy and clean energy in general, this city is a sustainable city. We have uh, a lot of solar panels. We have a lot of autonomous cars, uh, autonomous buses moving around the campus. Uh, it's a new city. Uh, also the location of the campus is surrounded by a lot of amenities. So I think you've heard about the Ferrari world, uh, Louvre in Abu Dhabi. Uh, we have uh, uh, WB and, and a, lot, a lot of things. They are just, maybe five, 10 minutes away from the campus. So it feels like it's a very nice place to live in. Uh, the, the, most, the most interesting thing is the, uh, let's say the diversity that we have in the university. So students came from more than 30 uh, different countries. Uh, we have a lot of different things. We share everything together. Uh, each country's special day, we celebrate together, we, we share our traditions. So it's really cool and nice to be in such a diverse community. 
That's amazing. Thank you for sharing all of that. It does seem like it's such an amazingly holistic experience with the diversity of the community, with the courses and the range of faculty members, as well as just the amazing location in Master City. Um, that's really fascinating to kind of hear about the sustainability of the city and just really being able to live in a location that exemplifies what you're studying. So that's yeah, really yeah. If, if I may, If I may add something, uh, actually it's the most important thing and I think uh, for students who are uh, uh, willing to apply for the university is the scholarship that we have here. Mm. So uh, the university is providing everything for you. You just have to come and study. They provide uh, a place to stay in. You don't have to pay anything. Uh, monthly stipend, which is a competitive one in the country, and maybe is one of the highest uh, salaries across the world. Uh, we also, uh, of course, we, we don't have to pay for the courses. It covers the tuition fees and everything. So it's just all you need is to apply and enjoy the experience. Yeah, that's really exciting because a lot of programs you have to apply for admissions and then apply for scholarship. And here it's all in one, which is really exciting. Yeah. So it also just kind of smooths the process. Great. Yeah, Fantastic. Well, thank you um, for sharing all of that. Um, you've touched on this a bit, um, but would love to hear about maybe a couple of favorite highlight experiences that you've had at MBC UAI so far. So just kind of a specific experience or an event or things that you've been able to be a part of. Yeah, so uh, apart from studying and the interesting courses that we have, uh, let's talk about the, the other side of students' life. So uh, as I mentioned earlier, I'm a part uh, vice president of the Graduate Student Council. Uh, we had the chance to conduct many, many events for students, just try to uh, let them enjoy, enjoy the city, enjoy the life, uh, the student life that we have here. So we have uh, lately, and you can check it on our platform, social platforms, uh, we have done an international day. So it was like a global village. Uh, students have showed a lot of their traditions, food, uh, uh, let's say traditional dresses and everything. So it was your you are here in a small, small place, but you can see the most, most, let's say, uh, a lot of countries that are presenting a lot of special stuff that you can't see anywhere. So that was one of the best things that I've seen. Uh, we've also, uh, if, if, I, if I mention one, one of the biggest or the nicest things here is also, that's true that we came from different countries, but we form a unified community where students are, you feel like they are one unit. So we share everything with each other. We celebrate with each other. We have fun with each other. During the exams, we support each other. Uh, during the assignments, we always discuss stuff together, uh, try to make sure that everyone on the same page, nobody's struggling. Uh, that was one of the interesting things that I've, I've experienced so far here. That's amazing. That's so exciting to hear about such a um, community-based cohort um, to be a part of. That's really, really fantastic. Because um, yeah, it is a, you know, kind of a niche group between the master's and the PhD program. So that's really exciting to hear. Thank you. Um, would love to kind of switch gears a little bit and talk about what I'm sure is on a lot of prospective students' minds, which is the application and how to really be competitive in that process. So would love to hear any tips that you have for prospective students. Um, when they're looking to start and complete their applications. Uh, all right, so for the application, um, I think the process of admission is uh, you submit your application and then there is an exam. If you pass the exam, you go for the interview. Uh, the tips that I can share with the students is uh, for, for the AI field in general, whatever you are looking for, NLP, computer vision, machine learning, the most important thing is to have a good background in math. Mathematical background is, I can say it's a must because the whole field is built on top of the math. Uh, so having a good background, a mathematical background is uh, highly recommended. Uh, the other part of the exam and the other part of skills that you should have if you want just to enjoy 
your studies here at Mohammed bin Zayed University is the coding skills and programming skills. So for the AI field, the, if I just, uh, I wanna talk a little bit in details. So for students who are willing to pursue their studies in um, uh, artificial intelligence, uh, we mostly use Python programming language. It's a programming language and we mostly use it for, for all applications in all courses and everything. So I do recommend uh, students who are willing to apply to have a, a, they can attend some courses. You don't have to be expert, but still having a background in Python will help a lot. I have a good background in mathematical, uh, in mathematics, what would also uh, ease your life when you start your studies here. Uh, another thing is that for the, they, they are also looking for people who are, not only are good at, at, at your studies, but also they are looking for leaders, future makers. So even if it comes to the interview, just try to, to, to relax, try to uh, show them uh, that you have a lot of skills, you can do it. You're not just the students who are willing to come here, study masters or PhD and just, and that's it. No, they want really, uh, they want to create uh, leaders, decision makers, future makers, and they are teaching us how not only the uh, the courses, but also the skills that we need to to be uh, such a things that I mentioned uh, before. That's really good advice. Thank you so much. That's really really helpful. Um, so as we wrap up um, the interview for today, just have one more question for you. So. Definitely kind of um, looking at that note you had about relaxing in the process. What would you tell a prospective student who is thinking about applying, but maybe they're a bit unsure, or they're a bit intimidated with the scholarship? What advice would you give for them? So, um, yeah, from what I see uh, from my colleagues uh, who came for the first time to the Middle East region, uh, when I just sat with them and had a talk, they were saying, I was asking the same question for everyone is how, how, how did you find the Middle East region and the United Arab Emirates in specific? And all of them, all of them, they, they had the same answers. Like we had something in our mind, and, but when we arrived, we found something different, something very nice, something really interesting. Uh, so uh, I can say that you should give it a try. Uh, even especially if you haven't come here, if you haven't visited uh, uh, Arab country before, the uh, United Arab Emirate is uh, is an it's it's an international city. Uh, you have all nationalities. You can hear uh, all different languages when you just walk walk around the city. Uh, it's it's not it's not a closed community. It's uh, they are very welcoming. The locals here are very friendly and nice, and they are very welcoming. So great. Thank you so much. That is great. It's very, very helpful to hear all that. It really is such a global hub. And um, there's over 200 nationalities actually that are represented in the UAE alone. So it's a really exciting place to live. Yeah, yeah. I would also say that there are a lot to see here, uh, not only in Abu Dhabi, but also like the UAE, they have something special in each Emirate. Uh, and I, I believe that everyone knows Dubai and what, what's happening in Dubai and the, the nice stuff that we have. Also, Abu Dhabi is a fantastic city. It's, it's a quiet, they have, they have everything. Everything is here. So uh, yeah, you should, I, I really, I really uh, encourage students to, to apply for this university, give it a try. As I mentioned, it's, it's the first university in the world that specialized in AI and especially for uh, post-grad uh, studies. So give it a try, apply, don't hesitate to apply. Uh, come and visit the UAE. It's, it's a fantastic country and you have, you have to visit. Thank you so much, Ferris, and thank you so much for your time. Again, definitely encourage you all to apply. You can um, start and initiate your application at the MBZ UAI website. You can also visit iie.org slash mbzuai to sign up for information sessions that are coming up where you can learn more from current students and um, you can find out more and um, have more questions answered. So 
definitely start your applications. The deadline is April 30th, um, but go ahead and initiate that application so that you can get started and hopefully start your amazing journey. Uh, can I add something? Uh, for students, if they want to, to know more about the university and events that are happening, they can just follow the uh, social media accounts for the university on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, they are very active. They always post new things. Also, the events that we have done in the uh, Graduate Student Council are all there. You can check the posts. Uh, it will give you a good uh, idea about what's happening inside. And I'm pretty sure you'll be more motivated and encouraged to apply for this university. Great, perfect. Thank you so much. And thank you all and best of luck on your application. Thanks everyone. Thank you, good luck.